inactive razor is not your month or your <coughs> hand a month, one month a year type of thing. It's basically you probably will never hear from us again. Um, if you do go to now an active duty, uh, if you go to an Air Force residency, that residency time would take or subtract away from your IR time. So if you go to a three year Air Force residency, you'd only have one year of IR on call time, I guess. That's basically what it is. And if you stayed in the Air Force for eight full active years, you would never go on the IR. You just say goodbye and that's the end of it. Um, but as long as you serve a total of eight you know, active years, that would be your military service obligation. Is that kind of confusing? I, I know it's kind I of scary. Okay. Yeah, I have a tendency. You know, yeah, keep in mind, we drove from Raleigh, so it's, it's a long drive. Good copies are not being Yeah, I'm trying to like, I'm trying to excite you guys, but I'm like, I'm not feeling it. Any other questions about that? Yeah. Um, wow, I would say, golly, when I was, I came in pretty early, so I was stationed in uh, Shreveport, Louisiana, and this is coming from the Bay Area of California, so it was kind of a culture shock when I first got there. Um, but the drinking age there was 18. And uh, <laughs> I went to LSU, and it was, it was great. I mean, I, I think that was probably a good time. But then, of course, then I got married, and so I, I don't tell my wife all this story. My next stair base was South Dakota, and as crazy as it seems, when I first drove from Louisiana to South Dakota, we, we spent you know, 300 miles where we saw nothing but cows. And uh, it was really depressing. I was like, my wife was crying. <laughs> She was, we were actually in two different cars. She, we had like walkie-talkies, and she's crying like here on the walkie-talkie crying. This is before cell phone days. Anyway, we oh. get there. Uh, <laughs> we get there, and it's just the wind. There's nothing to stop the wind. It's like coming through almost every day at like 40 miles an hour. That was like the moment. Um, it snowed from Halloween to Easter, and I know this because every picture of my kids in Halloween and Easter, they're like with their costume and then a snow coat. Or like in their Easter dress with a snow coat. And so the first year was really rough. I'm like, I hate this place. Um, but then, you know, I just, we kind of embraced it. I, we got into snowmobiling, snowboarding. I mean, Mount Rushmore is like 15 miles away. Um, the Black Hills, if you've never been, it were just gorgeous. <coughs> um, Sturgis was like, 30 minutes away or something, which is a big Harley festival thing. And uh, I miss that place now, crazy as it seems. Population of like 50,000, and I kind of miss that place. Mm. I guess I'm getting older. What I always tell people when we talk about assignments is the whole point of that, really. If you go into a place and you're miserable and you think this place stinks, I mean, what do you think the experience is going to be like? Of course it's going to be miserable. But if you embrace it, if you can, wrap your arms around it, give it a big hug, you know you're going to be there for at least two years, three years, and make the most of it, I mean, chances are you're going to have some good times. I don't know any of our bases that um, really give you that bad of an experience. You know, it's... Sorry, I can ramble. One thing about bases that's funny is people from South Carolina typically want to stay at a base in South Carolina, from what I noticed. But you got to keep in mind that we are actively recruiting people from North Dakota that actually want to stay in North Dakota. So you think, like, as soon as you sign the paperwork to come to the Air Force, we're going to send you to North Dakota. And it's not true, because we already have people that want, you know, they want to stay hometown. So, anyway, it's just kind of funny for me to wrap my head around that. Do you got anything else? Before we... well, I wanted to pick on you a little bit. Uh, I hope I can. Ah. Does anybody here watch How I Met Your Mother? Come on. Did y'all watch it Monday? Anybody watch it Monday? That's last Monday? Yeah. The unbutt um, drinking game when we got Did, did I say mean, that? You think we'd be drunk right now and start over? How many did I say? Oh, just. It was, it was it just me and Nope? We would be in the floor drunk with this big money. I just watched that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, no, that's all I got. Uh, if anybody's interested or wants more information, we got some folders built. Uh, if you have any more questions, you might not want to bring it up in front of anybody.
uh, we'll be around for a little while. Um, just come see us if you uh, I just want to set appointment. We can do that too. Uh, we wanted to be here through tomorrow for yes. the same event. So um, that's it. Appreciate your time. I know uh, a lot of questions, so it went a little bit longer than we usually take. But uh, appreciate your time and letting us come out and do this. Right, thank you guys right. for coming out.